Lorna and yes you're seeing my face today I thought it would be nice um, just to talk to you guys face to face since I'll be talking a little bit about my childhood and how I got into Reborns um, so I've got little Bethany here today looking super cute she's so cuddly in these pajamas she's been in these for a couple of days now but she's just so cuddly um, so but I'm gonna change her into this little romper I'll just show you that and it's got some lovely little frills there on the back and then also this little cute cardigan um, if you saw my video yesterday I bought this yesterday at a kids market um, so we can change her into that as well so let's get started all right so I've just gone and got this blue pillow here to help prop her up so you can see her hopefully you can see her there so um, oh yeah Ali is at preschool today um, so I'll be picking her up shortly um, so I just wanted to talk to you today about how I got started in Reborns so um, I've always loved dolls always since I can remember since I was a tiny little kid I've always loved dolls and when I was a child um, I used to save up all my pocket money and I would buy porcelain dolls um, there was nothing you know that reborns went around when I was very young so but if they were I would have been saving up for reborns I can tell you now <laughs> because um, even when I would buy porcelain dolls the dolls that I would look for were always um, I was always aiming to find dolls that looked as much like babies as possible but yeah there weren't many um, you know the porcelain dolls were they were more um, you know looked like little girls than than like babies so growing up, um, I lived on a property. It wasn't huge, but um, it was quite big. We had you know, a fair bit of land and then everybody around us had land as well. So um, there was a lot of room to run around and we actually lived opposite a golf course. And um, to make pocket money, my brothers and my sister and I, we used to go over there and we would collect golf balls that had been hit into the long grass by accident we would collect up these golf balls, we would search for them, we'd spend hours and hours searching for these golf balls, and then we would go onto the golf course and we would um, we'd sit, uh, clean them up first, and then we would go onto the golf course and we would sell these golf balls back to the golfers. Um, and so that's how we made most of our pocket money as kids. And um, of all, of, I had two, I've got two brothers and one sister, and I spent the most time over there because I was saving up for these dolls you know I would buy I would save up just enough to buy a doll which back then they were probably maybe 20 30 40 sometimes more yeah around that $20 20 to $40 um, so I would save up that money and then I would go to the store and I would and I would buy a doll so I did that for years and years and I uh, just before making the video today I was looking through I did have a photo of my collection but I could not find it so I was hoping to show you guys a photo because I ended up having probably at least 30 dolls I would say I had by the time I was a teenager but when I was in my early teens um, so yeah I had a lot of dolls oh look she's looking so cute look that really suits her it fits her really well it's very pretty. I'll just show you the back with the frills. There we go. I'll do up those buttons. Um, so yeah, so that's how I got started in dolls. And then when I was about uh, 12 years old, my mum um, found an advertisement for a class, a porcelain doll making class. So she thought I might be interested in that, which I was of course. So um, I went along to that with my sister. Sorry, I'm just having trouble with these buttons. Um, so that was, I think it went for about four to six weeks and I would go every Saturday and I couldn't sleep. I remember being so excited to start this class to learn how to make my own dolls. And the great thing was I could pick, you know, what, what kit that I wanted. Um, they had lots of um, different sculpts there or kits. Um, so yeah, I was just so excited. So that was lots of fun. Um, so there she is in her little romper. So um, I might sit her there for a moment and I'm just going to show you because I've actually got the porcelain dolls that I made in that class. I've got them here on the lounge so I'm going to show you those. If anyone's creeped out by porcelain dolls you might want to turn it off now. I know some people are <laughs> um, but I'll just 
grab the camera. So here we go. Here I have some of my dolls from when I was younger. So I actually ended up giving away all of my porcelain doll collection apart from the ones that I had made myself. Um, so first of all, we've got this one. I haven't, I never named these dolls actually, which is surprising because I, I just spent so much time with them and I love them so much. So this was the first doll that I made. Um, as you can see, see her little face. I'm not sure if you can see. She's got a little tongue and two teeth in there. Um, but I used to, um, I made this one because she has a very soft body and she actually has little plastic beads. I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, she's got, she's quite heavy. She has, um, let's turn her over. She has lots of beads in there. Those little, they're just the little plastic beads, I think. So she, she actually feels quite heavy. Um, so I used to love this baby. She's got soft feet, cloth feet like that. But yeah, she's, her legs are so chunky. Um, but yeah, they're full of those little plastic beads. And what I used to do with her is I used to put a beanie over her head, like on her, to cover her hair. I did have a beanie here, here's one, and I'll just show you what I used to do. I'll just set that down there. So what I used to do was I would get a beanie and I would cover up her hair so that you could just see her little face. I would try and cover it up as best as I could her hair and then that way she looked like a baby and I would wrap her um I would wrap her up in a blanket and I would carry her around in my room I would go in my room and lock the door and I would play with her and I did that until I was probably 14 or 15 years old um with this doll and with the other one I'm going to show you in a minute um so yeah I, all my friends were off you know chasing boys and and going out and I was busy playing with dolls <laughs> So I've always loved dolls. So here is um, this, this one. Um, she's got big brown eyes. Uh, and then you can see her little face there. And then her little hands. One of her feet, her legs is actually broken. Um, but this is the good one. So yeah, but see the toes are curled up. It's kind of the start. This was kind of, you know, just a few years, I guess, before Reborn started to emerge, you know, become more popular. Um, the porcelain dolls were sort of starting to, you know, they were trying to kind of, you know, make them look a bit more baby-like, I guess. Um, so I used to love this one too. I used to wrap up and carry around with me. And then this little one, she's cute. Um, her clothes need a wash. They're all very dusty. And then this little one never got a proper outfit. She's just wearing, um, I don't know where I found this little dress when I was a kid. It was on some little doll that I had. Um, and she is full porcelain. You can see there, she's full porcelain. So, yeah, so I made these four dolls, um, yeah, from when I was about 12 to 13 years old. And um, I actually entered the one in the blue dress, I entered in a um, competition at the Royal Easter Show in Sydney. And I've got her ribbon there, so she, I came second place for her, um, which was good. I was pretty proud of myself for that, you know, being only 12 years old at the time. Um, yeah, so um, that's the story of my porcelain doll collecting. All right, so I'll just put the camera back down and then I'll talk to you a little bit about how I got into Reborns. All right, so we might um, put on Bethany's little cardigan while we're chatting. Um, so I first heard about, or I saw some photos of Ashton Drake dolls um, in some doll magazines when I was younger, um, and I just absolutely loved them. You know, just I thought they were amazing that they looked like babies, you know, but at the time, I don't even know if they were available read readily or not. I'm not sure. Um, but I didn't know, you know, where to get them or, you know, the internet wasn't even um, around yet. So, um, gosh, that makes me feel so old. Um, yeah, so I didn't know, you know, um, much about those. Um, and then it probably wasn't until maybe my late teens that I, um, you know, started to see photos of Reborns. I think I'd seen some pop up, pop up on Facebook and things like that. Um, but then when I learnt the price, you know, it just... It just it wasn't an option to collect them at the time and and then I was busy having my own children I started having children when I was um, I think 23 
um, I had my first and then before that you know I was just busy working and I was worked as a nanny um, for years before I had my own children because I just always loved babies and that's all I wanted to do was be around babies and, and kids so I worked as a nanny um, as soon as I left school and I did that right up until I met my husband and and we had our, <clears throat> and we had our own and then I had six babies one after the other all quite close I think the closest of 14 months apart and then um, yeah the biggest gap is probably nearly two years um, but yeah they were all close I was very very busy which I loved I loved having you know a house full of little babies <laughs> so um, so I didn't have time to collect dolls at that time and then it wasn't until um, really the last about six months ago that I saw another photo pop up on Facebook and I just thought wow that is you know they just these reborns are amazing and you know I didn't have any babies in the house anymore Aaliyah's just turned four so she's not a baby anymore and I thought wouldn't it be nice to have one of these to cuddle you know um, so I got onto Gumtree which is um, an Aussie site an Australian site that it's, it's a little bit like eBay but there's no bidding involved so it's just a you know a sale site it's a little bit big on you baby I'll just um, fold up these sleeves I think um, so I got on there and that's where I came across little Sophie and what um, got my interest with her was her price she was only I think $150 so she's she's you know one of our um, I think she's our you know least expensive reborn um, but you know I could afford to pay that so I thought oh, I'll, I'll you know get her for Aaliyah and myself <laughs> um, and and then once I held that baby and I saw how you know amazingly painted she was because in the photos on Facebook and things like that you can't see you know some of the details of the veining and the mottling you can't you know see a lot of that and so it wasn't until I held one up close that I realized how amazing they really are painted they just can look so realistic and so um, that's where it started and then from there it was it's just been one after the other so um, yeah and now we have this cutie doesn't she look pretty in her little her little cardigan and her little romper I think she looks really cute um, so I'll quickly show you Sophie, our first reborn. I'll go grab her and I'll just show you her. So here's Sophie. So she is, it was our very first reborn. A lot of you are new to our, um, to our channel. So you may not have seen Sophie yet. Her quality isn't as high as, you know, our other babies, but she's still so cute. Look at her little face. So she's the Robin sculpt. Um, I can't remember her artist, <laughs> um, but she's the Robin sculpt, and she's very cute. Okay, so I might just pop her down, and then um, I might feed Bethany. She can have some milk. There you go. There you go. She's so cute. This baby, um, I'd have probably have to say she's my favourite. I just love the feel of her. She. I cannot tell you how much she feels like a real baby. I wish that you guys could give her a cuddle <laughs> through the through the screen. I wish you could reach reach through and give her a cuddle because she feels, you know, I've had six babies so I know what a, a little one feels like and just to hold her, she yeah, she just feels so so real. She's so she's weighted so well. She's really heavy. Um and her little head just, you know, just the way she moves is really really nice um, yeah so um, yeah I'd say she's my favorite at the moment and this is coming from someone who said that they only you know a few weeks ago I thought that I only really liked sleeping babies but you know she hurt she's open eyes and I just she's just so cute she just yeah I just love her so um, so we have some exciting news some new things happening in the nursery our nursery is always growing um, it's always changing. We are going to be selling some of our babies. I think I've said that in a previous video um, Because you know um, to grow our collection we are going to have to let go of some babies. So um, <clears throat> We've got our Zoe up for sale at the moment. She hasn't sold yet, but I have a few people interested in her So hopefully she'll sell soon and be off to a new home um, And we will be getting our very first silicon 
hopefully next year, I'm hoping early next year, she's actually arriving in Australia. Her, um, her uh, I've ordered the kit, I've ordered her sculpt and it's arriving probably tomorrow. I've I had her sent straight to my artist. I'm having um, one of my favorite artists paint her for me. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really exciting to see how she turns out. She'll be, I'm not sure when she'll be ready, when she'll be painted, but I'm hoping it will be, yeah, it's probably sometime early next year. Aaliyah doesn't know when that doll will be arriving, so I'm hoping to keep that a secret and have, you know, a big surprise for her um, with that baby. I've never held a silicon baby in person. I've, um, yeah, never felt one even, so I don't even know what the silicon feels like. I've only seen, um, you know, on YouTube videos and um, things like that. Uh, same as Aaliyah, we have never felt one. So that's gonna be really, really exciting. We're also getting really excited about Christmas coming up. I have been collecting things, uh, Christmassy things for the nursery for well, pretty much since we started collecting Reborns. Um, I go to you know my local op shops about once a week. So I've been collecting lots of lovely Christmas things. So we're planning on revealing our nursery, our Christmas setup on the 1st of December. Um, so yeah, um, we'll be setting it up, um, yeah, to, to show you guys then. And also we are going to be doing a Christmas Reborn giveaway that's coming up, um, probably this week or next week I'm going to have to get organized and put up that video because I want to announce the winner, um, on the 1st of December with our Christmas, um, well, when we show the nursery all set up for Christmas. So, um, you know, I want you guys to have a couple of weeks to enter. Um, so that you know everyone can have a chance to enter so that's exciting too so make sure watch out for that video um, that'll be our first reborn giveaway so we're really excited about that um, that's probably about it um, if anybody would like to share with me in the comments how you got into reborns then feel free to do that I'd love to hear you know um, about how others have heard about Reborns or when they started, how old they were, things like that. Um, so yeah, just comment below. Thanks you, Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, sorry if it went a bit long. I've tried to keep it, um, you know, not too long, but it's a bit hard. <laughs> um, so I also just want to thank you guys, all of you, all of our subscribers. You guys are amazing. We can't believe how many you know how much support we've had and so many lovely comments Aaliyah and I on the videos uh, we are just loving this hobby so much it brings us so much joy and I'm just so happy that I can do it you know with Aaliyah that she has the same interest as me it just means everything to me so um, I'm sure I'm hoping that we'll be able to share in this hobby for a long long time to come so yeah you guys you know yeah we're gonna be having videos for I think a long time there's going to be many 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 more videos years and years of videos so I hope you guys <laughs> are enjoying the channel because we're going to be around for a really long time so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye